What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here and today is day number 60 inside the Internet Lifestyle Network 100 Day Video Challenge. 100 videos in 100 days. It's your boy Big Chips with BizandChips.com. What's going on world what's good it's your boy big chips here and we are here with day 60 man this is phenomenal we are uh over halfway there but we are 40 days away from the fruition of our 100 videos in 100 days now you know your boy biz nut and big chips we we get things done anyway so we're gonna be doing our challenge far beyond what we well we we're just gonna do it but uh, today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, staying consistent, staying congruent, and helping other people. You know, you we get messages all the time from people that are just looking for help. They're looking for guidance. They're looking for this. They're looking for that. And they're in all walks of opportunities. And, you know, they may not want what we got at ILN because maybe they have a few brain cells that aren't working and they can't think clearly. So, I mean, sometimes it happens, right? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But you know, sometimes they just, they want to stay in their opportunity because they're just so, they're starstruck or they're just, they just don't believe in anything else right now. So, you know, you may not get a sale right now. You may not get everything that you want, but you know, you, you got to focus in on paying attention to that which is around you and pay attention to those people who are crying out for help because obviously they need help they're not getting it in their opportunity they're not getting it from their sponsor they're not getting the value that they deserve and ladies and gentlemen friends and family that's no bueno that's no good so even though you don't get to sell right now they're watching you they're asking you they're not begging you, but you get what I'm saying. They're, they're coming to you because they need your help. They need your guidance. And they wouldn't ask you for it if they didn't truly want. So I'm not saying give away the farm. We don't give away the farm. But it's give them enough to show who you are. Show them what you're worth. Show them that you care. And if you don't care, then you might as well give it up because you're not going to go nowhere. You may be lucky to hit a list and get your one-time bank for the buck. And, you know, you may do that. And I, I wish you all the luck with that. And you know, but you're gonna have more people sitting back saying, man, look at that douchebag, or look at that scammer, or look at that whatever. And I want you to be looked at as someone of value, someone of honor. Now, I may get hardcore on people and get, you know, my, my motto is sometimes you gotta have tough love. You know, I was never given an easy way, and I'm still not given an easy way. It doesn't matter how much money I make, I still have troubles, just like everybody else. So it's, it's, I said it yesterday, it's not the things that happen to you that dictate your life. It's how you handle those things that dictate your life. So remember that, that it's not the things that are happening, it's how you handle it. So are you handling it the correct way? And everybody's been watching The Secret here lately, and I mean, that, that to me, in my, inside my community, that to me is phenomenal because it means it's more people that are getting that bug that are getting that, that itch inside of them that they can co-create their own existence. You know, God has given us the power to formulate our life, to lay and dictate our plans, all with the power of our thoughts. So to me, it's powerful and it's, it's a joy and it's an honor to watch people go through that. So I, I'm stoked. But what I want you to understand about that family is that you've got to have the power of thinking all the time. You can't just sit there and think you're going to manifest your life and then every other day sit there with a sorry butt attitude, stinking thinking. You know, I want you to understand the power that you hold through your emotions. And if you watch The Secret, it's one thing I want you to understand is they talk about that in that movie as well. but quantum physics man it's quantum physics 
you know, start studying that and understand how these things really work. But your emotions are what dial you in and how much ugh, you put into the power. So you can manifest a, a thought. You can manifest a dream. But here is the problem. All right. I know I hate that windshield wiper. If you, you give yourself... 30 minutes or an hour a day to think positive, to really focus and get in on your dream. But the rest of the day, you sit there with that loser mentality. What do you think you're going to manifest, really? Okay, that's what I want you to understand. You may get a glimpse here and there, but if you sit around with the, I'm a beaten down dog, or I'm never going to do anything, I'm never going to amount to anything, or... I can never do that, or I can never do this, and that's exactly what you're creating, okay? That's what I want you to understand. What you put the power in is what you create through your life, all right? So if you are giving power to the lack, if you are giving power to the doubt, if you are giving power to the unsuccess that you have faced, all you're creating is more of that. So I really would hope and I pray and I, I, I see positive vibes and I speak positive vibes and all over your lives. If you're watching this right now and the words that are coming out of my mouth are touching your ears where you hear it, I want you to feel it. I want the words that I'm saying to you to enter into your subconscious as well as into your heart. And I want you to know that you are victorious, that you are a winner that you can do anything and all things that you want. You just have to have the power to believe. You have to have the power to know that you are successful, that you are powerful, that you are everything that you wanna be in life. So you hold the power and you hold the keys to your own destiny. So you need to decide what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, and go do it. If you want to manifest victory into your life, then you better start living victory in your life. You feel me? You dig? Because that's how you're going to create it. You know, what you sow today is what you're going to reap tomorrow. So if you're sowing seeds of doubt and you're sowing seeds of lack and you're sowing seeds of mediocrity, you know, that's what's going to flourish. So you got to keep in mind if you want to grow and you want to be successful and you want to have more than enough, then that's what you need to focus on. That's where your life needs to be. You need to spend your life focusing on the things that you really do want. Alright? And I believe it for you. Because I believe it for your future. I believe it for your family. And I believe it over your business. And I believe it. And I speak it. And I know it over the Internet Lifestyle Network. You know? And the more abundance we create for our owners, the more abundance we create for our teams, the more abundance we create for ourselves. So, to all the people that are out there in this one mind mentality of literally you're trained to only worry about yourself and what you're gonna do I really want you to get over that I want you to step up and over I want you to step into the victory because the more you help others the law of reciprocity says that will come back to you and I want you to understand that and I want you to believe that because it is law and it will come forth in fruition inside your life guys I hope this message holds true for you i hope that you can take this and store it in your mental database and you can use it to you know exemplify yourself to bring out and bring forth the fruit in the right way but that's my hope that's my dream and that's the power of the words that i'm speaking over you right now as you listen to this so until next time it's your boy big chips with businesschips.com I will see you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.